Okay, uh, day 141, and here at the U.S. Navy Memorial, nice flags here. Of course, if your name's Sandy Berger or uh, Latter Day Sandy Berger, there's your Sandy Pants right there. If you want to stuff your pants with some documents uh, to uh, obstruct justice, which is what we have electronically, terabytes to Pakistan. And of course, this organization right here, the DOJ, not only has the FBI in their enforcement arm, but they have the DEA. Now, my question is, everyone's waiting for the DEA IG's report, and they have 450 people. This is Michael Horowitz, and everybody's expecting great things from Michael Horowitz. Well, I'm gonna ask you, if myself and Task Force can find Omar Awan, I'm, I'm filming this way, can find Omar Awan's DEA license, if we can find Saipov's license, if we can find Mark Lambert, the head guy, still they're trying to push Campbell as the informant, Campbell Soup, Mark Lambert's the key guy. He has a DEA license. If they can't find those, Wong, if they can't find Albert Wong's DEA license, the guy who supposedly has PTSD and is shooting up the VA, if they can't find those things open source with 450 lawyers and all the inside information and all the ability with the FBI to do any kind of deep dive on any person in the United States possible, why are we expecting so much from his report? That's all I'm saying is, why are we expecting anything? The only way that they've ever produced anything is by produce, somebody producing documents in a lawsuit, and then they come in later and said, oh yeah, we thought of that too. That's the only thing that this is, anyone who's expecting anything out of the Horowitz report is just doing wishful thinking, wishful thinking.